So, Dust Till Dawn, what are my thoughts? I love this film. I feel that it has everything you want in sort of a Halloween-ish sort of vibe from like a normal film vibe. Simply because the vampires, I guess they're halloween -y, I guess. Don't count on it! Oh. And to me, this movie does not feel like the typical vampire movie where you get introduced to the vampires very early on. I think that this movie is split into a tale of two halves. The first half of the movie is setting up the characters of Richie and Seth, telling us who they are, the sort of profiles we're working with here with Richie and Seth, who are they, why are they criminals and things like that, and that sets it all up in the first half, and them kidnapping a family and taking them across the Mexican border. You with me so far? Yep, because it seems like it's quite a dark movie, however it's quite a comedic vibe, because you've got George Clooney in there, Quentin Tarantino, bouncing off of each other quite well, and it sort of just has a nice vibe around it. So it's quite a positive, uplifting movie while being dark and sort of horrifying in a way so you can see where the horror sort of vibe might be coming from because kidnapping is not a nice thing i guess maybe a bastard but i'm not a fucking bastard however then the second half of the movie just switches on its head like we don't really care about the families being kidnapped anymore because now there's vampires and sort of like the family goes hang on a minute seth and richie are our probably best bet to stay with however richie gets killed off in the first few minutes so Technically just Seth, we'll stick with Seth because now we can work as a team to fight the vampires. That's how it seemed and to me it was just a mental switch where you're thinking how the fuck did this work? I just want to say guys before we get into the rest of the video thanks for the support and the continued support but anybody that has not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as we want to get more content out for you guys and the only way we can do that is with your support and you can do that right now by supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, let's get back to the video. And I'm still asking that question because if this movie was made now, you'd be thinking, well, this guy must be high, whoever wrote this and whoever made this, this guy must have been high on something because those two things should not go together. But they do. And I think it's just the connection between those two characters and the way that they built up in that first 45 minutes was perfect because it just led us into that finale of that next 40 odd minutes of just vampires versus humans in which was a great battle don't get me wrong I think the ending of Seth and Kate being the last ones left out of the entire group and you might be like oh how did that go down it's simply because Seth had to kill Richie who then turned into a vampire and then all the rest of Kate's family all the Fuller family that were brought along and kidnapped to come over to the Mexican border was all killed uh, by vampires and consequently it's just one of those where you're thinking ah rough paper round and then those two are sort of like meeting the people then that made the deal and then they go their separate ways it's such an iconic ending and I love that then the song starts playing the theme song of the the entire film and then that's it boom that is how to end a film and to me it was just magnificent how the battle happened and it was so gruesome horrific and you felt that at times more people might have survived but then there were stupid errors people not saying that they'd been bitten and things like that and it was just a great vibe of a movie and if you haven't seen it go and watch it because George Clooney is excellent Quentin Tarantino is excellent and it's quite a funny while it's also being quite a cool horror movie if you like and it's got a nice Halloween-y vibe simply for the vampire element and that's the reason why it is in this Halloween month. And keep tuned for all the other Halloween stuff that we're going to do. So hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. So to summarise from Just Till Dawn, I feel that this movie was a great movie and to me it acts as a move, one of the only movies that can have a 45 minutes of build up to a vampire movie where you don't even guess it's a vampire movie till the last hour or so of the movie where it just really builds up into it unexpectedly and it's a huge plot twist that I didn't really see coming unless you've seen this movie before that's why I rate this movie 8.8 .8 and a classic film so let me know down in the comments down below what your thoughts down are in the comments down below hit that like button hit that notification bell and I shall see you guys in the next one later